Hey, I'm Sal at Deco Ranch. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've posted anything and I realize, oh my gosh, the time has gone on and, and it's been a month since I've posted anything. And I, I feel bad about that. Um, and I look back and I realize there was so much going on and it's part of the insanity of life. And we have our motorcycles to help keep us sane. In the past four weeks time, I lost a family member. Uh, my internet went out for 10 straight days. Rats ate the cabling in the walls. I had no way to get out there. I had my phone, but I couldn't use my, my PC anymore with any of the apps. I couldn't update any websites. I couldn't update anything. The power steering on my car went out three times just in the past four weeks. It's been in the shop. It stays in multiple days at a time. The first time was the power steering rack and pinion. Um, drove it a couple times. It went right back to the same issues. Then it was the power steering pump. Drove it one time. It went right back to the same issues. And then it was the rack and pinion again. The one they replaced it with was bad. And each time it stayed for several days. So it was out of commission. And it, and it had to wait a week and a half to go back in the third time. During that week and a half, the truck, one-year-old truck with just 8,000 miles on it, decided to take a crap on the freeway. <laughs> just going down the freeway, coming home, and it just decided it wasn't moving anymore. And it just lost power on the freeway, uh, had to be towed in, had to wait a week to get that in. I've got my car and the truck out of commission. Once it did go in, it took another couple days for them to diagnose and say, yes, it's a bad fuel pump. It was a known issue with the 2020 models, uh, CV3 or something like that on the fuel pump, and they've since upgraded to the four, but apparently all these threes were running around that were destroying entire fuel systems. $20,000 worth of damages on my truck, on warranty, thank goodness, on warranty, but the truck is now in the shop. It's gonna be gone for weeks. There was a period of time there, about a week and a half, where I had nothing but my bikes. My bikes, the quad, and a riding lawnmower and my tractor. I felt like these drunk people where they take away your license and, and you have to make a choice of riding lawnmower or tractor, what you're gonna ride around. <laughs> I'm thankful I had the bikes because that was my sanity during that time. The truck's still gone. The car is back now. And, and now I have access to a, an enclosed cager vehicle. But during that time, when I had nothing but my bikes, I was fine with that because that became my sanity. That's, that, it's, it's almost like a mental health condition where you've got nothing else but the bikes and that freedom that comes with riding the bikes and that feeling of exhilaration that you get when you're at one with your bike on the road, that's what I was down to. And I, I know a lot of you out there, all you have are your motorcycles. You've got your bikes and that's it. I'm fortunate enough, and well, I need it for what I do in ranching. I need my truck. I can't go to horse events. I can't haul a trailer. Truck's gone. I mean, it's, it's gone to the dealership. It's not gonna be back for a while. So. In that time, I rode my bikes everywhere. Wedding rehearsal, whatever, my bikes went with me. That's, I just picked a bike. And I'm thankful that I have a selection of bikes around me, whether it's the Rebel 500, the Triumph Street Twin, the Zero SRS, which we haven't even talked about in any of my videos at this point, but we will. The little Honda Grom, the little orange one hidden on the side there, uh, Mike's Harley, Mike's Harley Heritage Softail Classic is sitting in the back. <clears throat> We've got the two Honda Rebel 1100s, both the DCT and the manual sitting over there. Oh, oh my gosh, and on top of all of that, I, I had my own issues with uh, sciatica in my leg where I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'm gonna like this DCT after all. But no, no, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> the sciatica did, but liking the DCT really didn't. So it's still on my hit list. It's still on my hit list, and I will sell it at some point. This has all happened within the past four weeks. 
What's kept me sane during that time are the bikes. And I've got a lot of other videos that I could be working on. I have many videos that have already been shot and just need to be edited, spend those hours and hours editing each one. Um, and I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna shake it down a little bit, bring it down to earth, and just tell you what's going on and how much these bikes have meant to me during this time, as I'm sure they have to so many of you out there. The will of life, having lost a loved one, you know that that will of life is going around and we're moving with it. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna be depressing or anything. That's not what this is about. Instead, it's quite the opposite. As that will of life goes around, we face our own vulnerabilities more and more. And in doing that, you realize you have one life to live. What are you going to do with it? For me, I want to spend more time on my passion of the motorcycles. That's my passion. I love the horses. I love the bikes. I get a lot of similar exhilaration from the bikes that I do with the horses when I'm competing with the horses. In the horses, barrel racing, pole bending, you're leaning with those turns. When you're on the bikes, you're leaning with those turns. It's a very similar feeling. I know different people will describe it in different ways and that's how I would describe it. And as you're out on the road, very similar to a horse, you get that feeling of being at one with your bike and at one with mother nature. You can smell the smells out there that you don't get in a car or a truck. You feel the air around you that you don't get in a car or a truck. And you feel that exhilaration as you team up with your bike on these curves and, and turns. It's, it's just such a great feeling because you've partnered and become at one with your bike and that bike becomes your avatar. And that's, that's a way of describing it. Your bike becomes your avatar. And that's the sanity of our world today. So I'm sure a lot of you have faced different issues, whether it's adversity or whatever, things that happen. It's just life that goes on. But this has been my sanity, all these bikes in the past month. And I want to bring you more about those bikes in future videos. But I just wanted to share what's been going on and why I haven't posted in a month with you. And, and I've got so many more that I'm working on. And, and it'll happen. It'll happen. And I've got videos about each of these bikes, whether it's the Rebel 500 and the mods that we've done to it, uh, the Triumph Street Twin, and uh, just its performance, which is amazing. The Zero SRS, which you haven't even seen yet. And that's something that I'd like to bring out because having never been on an electric bike before, <laughs> this is game changer, game changer, just saying that. And, and you'll see when we get to those videos. Uh, the little Grom, I don't do too much with the little Grom, but it's just a fun, flickable bike. And uh, the, two, the two Rebel 1100s on this side, um, the manual in particular, I've done mods too. I've done quite a few mods too now, and that'll be featured in some of the upcoming videos. But I just wanted to share with you the insanity of my life in the past four weeks, just four weeks, and all this stuff's gone down, um, and the bikes have been my, the bikes have been what's saving me. They've, they were my only means of transportation there for a while, and, and that's what keeps my sanity. So all of you out there are sharing that passion for motorcycles. How much do your bikes keep you sane? Because that's really helped me in this past month. Leave your comments down below. Feel free to share some of your own stories. Um, I enjoy reading them, and I'm sure others will as well. So until the next video, which I'm working on, till the next video, ride safe and keep your horses moving. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, it really does help out the channel. And I, I'm always happy to have you with me. Thanks for watching.